the city of Satellite Beach, Frank Catino. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. The city's been very busy this year on infrastructure projects. Um, one of our major focuses is the Indian River Lagoon. I'll tell you a little story. It's very personal to me, the Indian River Lagoon. I have a little bit of a connection there. I was in jury duty one day, and we had to stand up and tell our name. I stood up, said my name, I went to sit down, and the judge goes, stop. <clears throat> he says, I didn't tell you to sit down. He looks at me, I'm like, I hope I didn't do anything wrong. He goes, I just want to look at the guy whose wife has the real job. I'm a fishing guide. This is my 44th year of being a fishing guide, so the lagoon has always been real special to me. So the city of Satellite Beach is doing a lot of stormwater projects, and part of these projects are retention ponds that we are putting in in the south end of our city to bring us up to date and even for the future for stormwater for the BMAC program with the state. We were able to do this with a P4 initiative with Patrick Air Force Base. It was a great relationship we have with the government. They gave us a big recreation facility on South Housing. In return, we could have this land available to do this stormwater projects. <clears throat> with the stormwater, we also did a sustainability project. Um, we partnered with FIT and Stetson um, to see what where we're vulnerable in our city for hurricanes, sea level rises, um, and we also mapped our city streets, our stormwater, so that when we do projects in our city, that we know that the piping size and what we're doing will handle storm events. So this year, through that, we did, we are paving 22 streets. We just finished a 22nd street yesterday, and we're doing one major streetscape project on Roosevelt, which runs east-west quarter. Total street rebuild, and that project is about a month from completion. The city owns 40% of its beach, and one of our commitments to the residents during the time was that we would create parks, whether they were passive parks just for walking, or just beach accesses, or parking. And we just finished our southernmost park, which was Shell Street, and that street also had the last remaining septic tanks in our city. And we connected to the residents at no charge and just completed the Shell Street project. Um, we also, um, in other parks, were redoing our skate park. Our skate park in town was the first skate park in the county. It's about 15 years old and it will get a total facelift. And how we did it is, it's amazing when you engage the youth of the community. They're the ones that would be using this park. They, we formed a committee, and they just totally designed the park. And the park is, will we start in the next two months. Um, the skate park, and also one of our big projects, um, we like working with schools. And this year, Surfside Elementary School is an open campus and has a great playground for the youth of town. Um, and we, the city donated 25000 to the Surfside to help build this new um, playground that's available for the whole city to use. Um, we're also working on um, some new buildings that will be coming up in Satellite Beach. We'll be starting Ramada, the old Ramada Inn property, which is across from Public Shopping Center. We'll start. That will be a new project. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mary.